video folks so it didn't take me long really a few hesitations basically it took between 10 and 15 minutes to walk from the main road to here I remember this well, the big mansion. I'm going to go up the Stout Lane. Um, it's funny, I've remembered those, tr those weird looking trees, you know. But all I can remember when I was coming down Stout Lane before, it sat, felt like the cricket club was there over that side. That's why I was, when I saw the cricket club, I thought, oh. <sighs> then there was the sign for, for Crocum. It was all a little bit. <sighs> chaotic, my thinking back then. But I had a feeling it was this way up. There's the mansion. And of course I did go up through the fields and through a gap in the fence. But I'm not going to do that today. I'll get soaked anyway. I'll go up the lane. It's true there is a, another walk that way. But look at the lovely views. Already the lovely views. And the cricket club is over there. It does look rather a new cricket club though. So it could be that that's quite new. And maybe hadn't been built when I came last. It did look very, very new. Oh, I remember these geraniums, or whatever they're called. I can't remember what they're called, but these plants. Yeah, I've, I've, I've videoed all this in the past, everyone. And uh, the lane goes up beyond these trees. There's a lane. Um, and I went came down that way. But the, the, the last time I was here, um, I done, had done a massive walk and, and I left old Bertha at Holford. It was a really, really big walk. And I walked all the way along to Bishop's Lydiard, uh, Lydiard Hill. Then I came down the road, down the side to the church. And then when I finished the church, I followed the route that way, all the way along the greenway, um, and that was a nice route. I have, I do want to do that again as well, but not today. Today is Stout Hill Day, even though it's, yeah, here we go, there's a path. The West Dean Way, that's right, yes. This won't be open. I doubt it very, very much. It's very early. They probably don't open it to 10. There's the big old mansion. Up. I doubt very much if it's open this early. Do you? No. It's locked at the moment. That doesn't matter. Now I know it doesn't take me long to come along those, that lane. I can come here another time, do the church, then do that walk down the bottom route to Triscum. I'm not going to wander all about in the grass. I'll go up to the top there because I need to take some photos. This is... Um, Church of St Pancreas, it's got a big history um, and I've made notes and I've studied it well on past videos yeah, I've studied it well on past videos but I'm just going to pop up here just videoing a bit of it while I go Mansion still looks quite derelict. No one's got any money to repair them these days. Lots of them are falling in decline. 
Yeah, I got through a hedge up there onto another lane once. Yeah, I've been here twice. Been here twice. I just follow this path along. So, thought she was only 50. 58, this lady. Oh. She was probably. Bob. She fell asleep in 2008, so she would have been here. He died in 2018. It's possible I came that year. I have been here in, in the last five years. I'd have to go into my video diary to find out exactly when I came. This one wasn't here before. I've got a feeling this is... Um, the tombs of the local manor people here. I think so. This looks like Diana Brooks Popham. Died in... I can't quite read it, but... Uh, very, very recent then. Yeah, this is... um. The tombs of the local family, which are all recorded inside the church, by the way. Governor of Kenya, 1936. Governor of Kenya. He died in 1865. Yeah, there. This is a particular family. And I should imagine that one on the end is connected to them as well, to be quite honest. I would have thought so. I can't remember this opening up here before, not quite so easily. Back of the stables. One, two, three, up. Yeah. That's right, I did a little bit of exploring around here as well, in the past. I went past that tree there and then straight up the hill. But I always wanted to go up Stout Hill from the bottom and do it properly. But while I'm here, I just as well do a little survey. That's an old tractor. I bet he still grows. I bet he does. Yeah, I remember that tree. I remember that tree crossing over and then going up. I mean, the fence might be repaired now and I wouldn't be able to get through, so there's no way I want to walk up there and risk it. I would go from the bottom. The woman took a big sigh when I said I was going to do that. She told me an easier route, which I know, of course. Right, over and out, let's take some...